Long story short, um, I need to go back to school for extra credit, which I'll talk about more when I start driving. But I need to start driving like right now. But also, I know this angle is really weird. I've never recorded myself driving before, and I'm using my old iPhone, my old iPhone 6. So like the camera quality isn't the best compared to my current iPhone right now, but it'll do. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter anyway in the long run because the lights are going to be off. So what's more left to see? But I'm driving at night. This is the second time I'm driving at night alone. Uh, maybe I think this. Starting room. Oh, but I have to go back to school and it's not my fault. I'm going back to school at night. You know, I'm a lady. You're not really supposed to go out at night alone. Or you can, but it's just dangerous as like a girl to do so. But it's school. All of all places at school. But the camera angle, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, it's the first time I'm recording myself driving and I figured why not? Content, content, content. Um, I think it'll be fun. I talk a lot when I drive and talking helps me like ease my anxiety or whatever. Okay, let me make sure I can like feel both of the, the pedals, the brake and the gas. I need to turn this off and see if it oh shit headlights headlights um anything else i'm forgetting mirrors 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 i'm scared what else i need set music too okay yeah but i've never recorded myself driving in the car so i don't like have any like tripod things like set up so where my phone is right now you're behind the steering wheel and like you're next to the speedometer basically what music should i play let's play some like twice Actually, I'll play some Bozzy because... Yeah, I need to concentrate, so I'm gonna play some songs from Cosmic. It's like one of my favorite albums of all time. Is this a carpool karaoke? Not really, because I'm gonna be more focused on the road. But, okay, I need to fucking start driving. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, let's just go. This is a little bit scary. I have the right lights on, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I'm just a little nervous. Because, really, like, before, the only time I would drive at night is, like, with my dad. And that's, like, to Costco. And, like, I don't normally go to Costco okay no I do normally go to Costco but like it's like a once a week thing rather than like an everyday thing this semester I've only gone back to campus like once a week because the rest of my classes are online the one class I do go back to on campus for is like a hybrid class so it's like not entire like I don't know how to explain it but like a hybrid class is a mix of both online and in person at least in my case it is my mind is so blank I'm like nervous so I'm going back to campus to watch a movie um like a movie screening and that is my extra credit for one of my classes this is like a film history class and there's a truck in front of me okay good the truck is moving i'm so nervous right now i've never driven to school at night and it's not like i'm like the closest to school you know like it's definitely like very much like a half hour of a drive every single time i go to school so it's a little uh lengthy of a drive not gonna lie it's not like the like the furthest ever but but, like, I mean, fortunately, I don't have to drive on the freeway, but still, it's just like a lot of driving just to go to school and come back home. You know, something I am worried about is like parking. Am I gonna find enough parking? I don't know. Also, I'm not entirely like paying attention to like which way I'm turning because, like, I've been driving to school for like the past few months. Oh, I should probably preface this. I'm a first year college student, so obviously, it's not like I've been doing this for like a few years already. Um, this is like my first semester of college, so like, okay, anyway, so I've been driving to school by myself for, like the past few months, so I kind of already know how to get to school, but I still need like a GPS, I still need to use Apple Maps to make sure that like I'm going in the right direction and also you know like there's this one time i had to like take like a bunch of detours to get to school because i missed a turn um or like there's like a bunch of construction so um yeah apple maps was telling me how to get back home or get to school like you know using a different route so that's why i need that's why that's a lot of beeping i don't think they were beeping at me though because like why would they beep at me let's ride <laughs> So, especially when it comes to like when there's like construction or something and I have to take a different route, Apple Maps is very useful for that. Or really any like GPS navigation system because I have no idea where I'm going. 
But it's a bit like muscle memory when I drive to school, like a little bit, but not really. I need to stop talking about driving. But anyway, the reason why I need extra credit, so this class, again, is like my cinema history class. It's for my major, which is like film, TV production, or whatever. Um, I love this song. I literally love this song. Silent, she's naked. Guns so you can snatch at. Titties have to snap that. I know that you do that shit. Just hoping for a snapback. God. What the fuck? I'm scared. There's just like motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share the road with motorcycles. Not no hate against it, but like it's just a little scary because like those cars. Are motorcycles even cars? I don't think so, right? But like motorcycles make a lot of noises and it's just like it's like <laughs> you know? Um, are motorcycles allowed to like squeeze through like are they? No, I'm not a motorcycle driver, obviously. I drive Class C automobiles. <laughs> oh, so I've been able to drive since, like, July. And then I didn't get my, like, auto insurance until August. Which, you know, just in time for school. I mean, I've been driving for a while already, but, like, not the longest time at the same time. And my driving instructor was kind of, like, like, just, um, I, um... Mm. I uh, I just Oh shit. Okay, let's move forward because I have to keep that area clear. I'm moving like so slowly. Oh, so this is what traffic is. I've experienced traffic before. Don't worry. Like on the freeway, I've driven on the freeway before, but like not many times. Just like mm, just like a few times. I'm not driving on the freeway right now. What what was I talking about, dude? I literally have mega ADHD. Dude, that car just like sped through, and then like it turned red when they were still crossing, and it's just like. No, I'm, I'm gonna be safe today, not like put myself in any danger. My mom would have agreed to. My dad, maybe not, because my dad likes to speed. My dad has a speeding problem, and my mom has a, I guess, a parking problem, for one. My mom's not good at parking. I'm not the best at parking either, but I'm better at parking than my mom. And then my dad, like, he's really good with parking and stuff, and he's like always so confident to like squeeze into like tiny spaces or something. <laughs> Like, parallel parking can do, parking in compact areas he can do, in busy parking lots he can do. Like, well, both my parents were from the Bay Area, too. Like, under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better, down where it's better, take it from me. They met in the Bay Area, they lived in the Bay Area before, like, moving to SoCal. So I'm pretty sure at least my dad knows how to park on, like, a fucking hill, you know, because, you know, San Francisco or whatever. I'm getting, like, an uncomfy feeling in my belly, so I'm just gonna drink water. What if I pull a- oh, shit. I can't drink water right now because I have to drive. That's not good. I was like, I'm gonna pull a Daniel from New Jeans Moment and get, like, the entire car wet. Knock on wood, knock on wood. Oh shit. Like the shape of the road is like changing and I'm holding a water ball in my fucking hand and I need to be able to put it down and also my like my wrists are kind of shaking right now too because I'm so nervous because like driving at night is not like something I'm skilled at. Oh let me tell let me give y'all a story time of the last time I drove at night. Um by the way if I'm not looking at the camera I'm looking at the road so please do not like shit on me for not looking at y'all when I talk like I swear I am I'm trying my best to pay attention on the road green light again are you kidding me this video is not entertaining is it i'm like scared i'm so scared but you know what content i'm driving so i can get an a in my class content everything content not even paying attention to the music content um do i really need music at this point well okay here's the thing so like apple maps does this thing or like if i just like have apple maps on my phone you know i'm using it for directions like it'll tell me like what street i'm on and stuff and to turn on what street and whatever you know but when i play music it just gives me the ding like when i need to turn it gives me the ding so i guess right now those dings are useful so i don't like expose like street names and stuff on camera soon i'm going to drive past like my 
pretty much my well i don't know if it's still my favorite now because like the food kind of like downgraded quite a lot so my favorite restaurant used to be in this area but not anymore they like moved locations like a long time ago a few years ago it's like early 2020 when they closed down and like started moving to a new location so now the restaurant is like a lot further now i don't know exactly why they moved but it's probably it probably has to do with like lease or something i don't know i'm not like a like a business person or anything like that okay my right turn is coming up so i need to pay attention but red light right now so i can continue talking so my favorite restaurant used to be like right here like, like right there so sad i love that restaurant so much and um yeah and then once they like relocated and like got sold in they reopened i went there and um their food just didn't taste the same like i would always get a grilled cheese there like that's my usual order like a grilled cheese with a side of fruit like that's like my usual order but like it tasted like not it didn't taste like shit the quality of the food just downgraded if that makes any sense like they they add less cheese and even so like they even took it off the menu like they took it off the dinner menu too which is a little like fucked up but they did that why am i saying it's fucked up like it's a restaurant they they could care less about my opinion but it was like my it was like my go-to you know that was like the best grilled cheese i've had ever actually you know the best grilled cheese i've had ever was like all the way in seal beach like i went to this one place in seal beach and um like the grilled cheese that they had was like grilled cheese like really cheesy and the dish came with some like tomato soup so you could like dip your sandwich in there or whatever but it was like so motherfucking cheesy and i need to make a right turn like now Oh, I'm scared now because now I have to drive a lot faster. I have to drive like 40 miles per hour, which uh, a little quick. So uh, if I talk less, that's the reason why. Oh, good. Red light, red light, red light, red light. Beautiful. I love beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. Oh my God, I'm scared. Yes! Tomorrow comes and goes before you know. So I just had to let you know the way the Gucci look on you amazing Okay, let me give you all the tea like really quickly So the movie starts at 6.15 but right now it's 5.57 and I'm like, well, see, like, I'm like more than halfway there to school. Like, it's still quite a bit of driving before I make it to school. But yeah, it's like 5.57 right now. So I need to like, the movie is starting soon. The event itself starts at 6 and it's like first come, first serve. So I don't know, I, is it first come, first serve for like the snacks? Or first come, first serve just to like be able to watch the movie? I could care less about the snacks because whatever, I could just go to Chipotle after the screening or whatever. I don't know. But um, I just need to watch the movie and like, like do my extra credit assignment so I can get my extra credit so I don't have to have like an 81 in my class all because I turned in my term paper like two weeks late so my original score on my term paper was like a 95 which is really good you know a 95 on the term paper that's really good that's a really good grade considering that like I kind of also had no idea what I was doing and there's this car that's like merging like two lanes to the left like like one after the other so I wanted to make sure that the car could like safely merge just give them space you know i'm such a considerate driver like people need to praise me more for my for like my driving because i'm so considerate oh yeah but i kind of had no idea what i was doing in the paper too so it was a little you know really stressful time for me when i was doing that paper um but yeah i turned it in two weeks late because i was so focused on like catching up in like my english class and i spent so much time and effort in my english class and then at the end of the day well not literally the end of the day but it's just like and then i ended up dropping the class the english class not the film class the english class which like like after I dropped it, I immediately was like so much happier. So I do not regret dropping my English class. Although like it, it will show up on my transcript that I dropped the class. Um, at least it doesn't affect my GPA, you know, because yeah now that i dropped my english class i can actually get like a really good gpa this semester and when be my by a good gpa is like a 4.4 4.0 i was gonna say a 4.4 but none of my classes are weighted so 4.0 which is really good really good i will literally be so happy if i get a 4.0 this semester which i will i am getting that 4.0 don't don't get me wrong girl i am getting that 4.0 uh so that car just sped past me while i'm driving at the speed limit so 
whatever. You know, okay, so the last time I drove... Oh, wait, that's my turnkeeper! So I turned my turnkeeper in two weeks late, so I got 20 points docked off. So my original score was a 95, but because I got 20 points docked off for turning my paper two weeks late, like, my final score was a 75. But, like, the fact that, like, my original score was a 95, like, that's... I, I, I think that's really impressive. Because, again, like, I was, like, really, like, stressed out, and I kind of had no idea what I was doing. And I've never written a film analysis before. And then, like, apparently we had to keep our, like, plagiarism... It's not a plagiarism. It's called a similarity report, yeah. We had to keep our similarity report, like, under 5%, which... Okay, honestly, literally, I was just referring to the movie and literally one article saying that the actor learned sign language. So I was just like, similarity report what? You know, it's like similarity report. Does it have to do with like plagiarism or something? Because I really did not use that many outside sources to complete this film analysis, you know? Also, I was like wondering how I would check my similarity report. But I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Because, because again, I didn't use that many outside sources in the first place. So I was like, okay, I should be fine. Which I was fine. But I still don't exactly understand what a similarity report is. Whatever. Apparently my similarity report was like 1%. Which I don't know whether or not that's like concerned a little or a lot. But it's just like why why is my similarity report like 1% when I barely used any outside resources and I paraphrased everything. You know, it's just like when you have a paraphrase is like I didn't I never like copied like the article like directly, you know? I need to shut up. I'm like almost there at school. We can we can risky risky wiki wiki. This is an emergency rendezvous. The truth, they could love you like I do, and we both know that. The song is called BRB by Bozzy. All the time, I've been working overtime, and when I'm done with that, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'ma be right back. I sound drunk, low key, but yeah. I Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> Young Jin, who? Okay, like JK, like for real though, I loved Young Jin from La Seraphim. But yeah, like, did y'all know? Uh, well, it's a given fact now, but she used to sing opera, and now she's an idol. It's just like, you don't normally see K-pop idols, like, sing opera, so I think it's really unique. And, like, Source Music has their hands, like, on a gem right there. Oh, it's, like, empty. That's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, good. I could park here. Oh, I normally park here. Yeah. Um, but you know what? I can park a little sloppy today. There are no, there are literally no cars around me. Oh, I'm at school now, and it's 6:07, so I need like hurry my ass to the fucking wherever the the screening is. I know where it is, like on campus, but I don't really know what the room is called. But anyway, that's it. Um, I need to call my dad to tell him that I made it to school because that's what I normally do when I drive to school during the day. But I'm just, like, my dad didn't tell me. Like, my parents are like, okay, bye bye, and my mom was like, watch me leave the the house. But uh, I need to call my dad now, let him know that I'm at school, I made it to school safely, and that I'm fine, and I didn't get abducted. So I need to let him know. I got a Hondalei. Um, let me turn on this. Um, I need my water. I also need my car keys too. Wait, actually, let me let me put on my mask first, cause at least at my school, like masks are still required indoors. But it's gonna change like next semester. I would still wear my mask regardless, because I am hanging around a bunch of people and I do not want to make anybody at home sick. So, oh, I need to turn off the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's it. T T Y L. Hey, I am back. Um, it's much, much later now. It's raining outside for some reason. I don't know why or how. I mean, no shit, it's weather. But like, the, the weather app didn't say there's gonna be rain. Although apparently it's just raining here and not like at home. I mean, I do live like kind of far away from school. Like kind of like half an hour away. So like maybe that's why it's raining here but not at home. But I just wasn't expecting it to rain here. Anyway, I'm in the car now. I'm getting solid in. How do I do the, the windshield wiper thing? Let me see. Is it this? <gasps> oh! Oh, that's aggressive. Holy shit. Yeah, it's, it's rain. Can you see the rain? I didn't really
necessarily film during the movie because that would be awkward. But the movie we watched was um There Will Be Blood. Yes, there was blood in the movie. Not too much though, but yeah. Like obviously it's not like as crazy as like um Invincible or The Boys. Two of like my favorite shows. And both of those shows have to do with like superheroes and I see someone running in the rain. Makes sense because it's raining. Anyway, I need to shut the fuck up. Oh, you know what? I need to get a thumbnail. I kind of have to vomit nose because it's 9.02 p.m. right now. So I have to vomit nose. Get home. Um, Nolan already, like, he already ate dinner. He already went on a walk with my dad. Um, also Wilbert as well. But, um, I normally take care of Nolan. But I'm not home right now. So my dad is watching Nolan. Um, I need to set the GPS to go back home. What music should I listen to? I don't know what music I want to listen to. I want to listen to some... Maybe some like K-pop. I would play NCT, but that that's like a little too exciting for me. I need something more chill. So maybe we can listen to some some Twice. Maybe I love myself some like good Twice music. Yeah. Um, I don't exactly have a playlist for Twice. I just go to the artist profile and then I just like play whatever's in their discography okay i like this shuffle now so this song is celebrate by twice it's like one of their newer songs is this when like they just renewed their contracts for like another so and so years and then they're like celebrate with somebody we're not just starting it okay let's start driving oh also i stole coca-cola <laughs> There were like a lot of snacks and stuff, and I kind of ate my dinner there. So. so, uh, drive. Let's go. Um, yeah, there's so many snacks at the snack bar or whatever. Like, dude, like, I thought that I would. Um, oh, I am not going the right way okay that's fine you know that like when you drive in a parking lot like there's a certain um like sort of like traffic flow where you're supposed to drive like a certain direction in the parking lot um you can't drive in whatever direction you want yeah i was driving in the wrong direction i don't know if this angle is good either but i hope it is okay are driving home now and i cannot see like what's behind me because like the back window is wet so i'm gonna have to rely on my side mirrors you know the difference between me and my dad is that i actually turn on my turn signals while my dad doesn't really use his turn signals he does but not all the time especially when it comes to like merging into other lanes like he in in that case like he usually doesn't use his turn signal so like that's not good for on my dad's part because that's not safe driving i really like Mayon's like hair length and more and more is that a, like a weird thing to say more more so like the snacks they had at the snack bar, it was like a bunch of candy. They also had sandwiches there, which is really strange. I didn't think they would have like sandwiches. So that's what I meant by like, I pretty much ate my dinner there. I just ate like a bag of M&Ms and a sandwich. And like, as for what type of sandwich it is, well, there's like tomatoes in it and like mozzarella cheese. No, I think it's white cheddar. And there's like some sort of like sandwich sauce in it, which I think is like mayo. I'm sorry, I am not the best when it comes to describing sandwiches because I suck okay I I'm not a food critic I need to turn here oh shit raw <laughs> I meant to turn on my turn signal right I ended up like turning on like the the windshield wiper okay let's just go for it oh! this song is so cute it's moonlight by twice you and I dancing in the moonlight kiss you when the moon's right yeah oh but about the movie though like i wasn't too interested in the movie because it was just it wasn't like i don't know i searched it up right while watching the movie so i knew like how the movie would end because i felt like it was never gonna end and i don't mean it in a good way 
Um, no hey, I, it's just not my type of movie to watch, and I kind of really knew that from the get-go. The title, There Will Be Blood, that gives, that screams like olden times, you know? And I am not the type of person who likes western, like Wild Wild West, like cowboy, um, just like dirt, dust, like I do not like those type of movies or TV shows. I personally like action. You know, I like action figure and explosions and stuff. But, but, but. Explosions and explosions in the Wild Wild West, those are like two completely different things, okay? So don't. Yeah, just don't, like, no. So, yeah, it wasn't really, like, my type of movie, like, to begin with. And, and that's okay, you know, like, you don't have to like anything and everything. For that, it's just, like, up to the person, you know, the personal preference. So I already knew that I wasn't really gonna like the movie that much. There definitely was blood, but not a lot. Some people died, but those characters weren't, like, too important, I guess. And I did miss, like, the beginning of it, but it was only the beginning. Like, when I came in, they just started the movie. So I was confused for quite a long time until I realized that, Oh hey, this is about oil. You break my heart, Opa. Although the sun, HW. You know, he grows up to be kind of fine, not gonna lie. So um yeah, like I would marry him too, not gonna lie. So you know, in watching the movie, I was thinking about my term paper like the term paper that i turned in two weeks late right which is why i need extra credit which by the way you're thinking oh oh green light perfect maybe i don't need to watch the road anymore what was i saying earlier i must let you know oh i missed the jyp Oh, I love this song. You know, I played this song for my band director one time because I was in this room during sixth period and like I was in the room with like other people and we we're talking about K-pop and music and stuff, but like mainly K-pop, right? Yeah, because we were talking about K-pop and like Twice and Blackpink and like other groups and like Itzy and stuff. Anyway, so we started talking about Twice and I was like showing the band director my favorite Twice song. At the time at least. I still loved Signal, but like at that time, um, I, don't know, I was like obsessed with Signal. Cause it's just like so quirky and funky, you know? Shigeru Monday, Shigeru Monday. I do not speak Korean. Sanyu bune, Shigeru bune. I must let you know. Sanyu bune, Shigeru bune. Oh my God, the iconic part. Ah, oh, so bumpy for what? Bro, the road was so bumpy. Did you feel that too? I felt it. My ass felt it. So bumpy. Did you feel that? Oh my god. Hello, we up run this city. Yeah? So go IG. Yeah, Olivia. Yeah? Fan fair hands in the air. Ooh. Pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Pink Lamborghini. Dude, I remember like at first people didn't like this song. I don't know if people still don't like this song. But whenever I listen to the song, I don't think about how people don't like it. I think about the the set, you know, when they were performing it on stage. Like the pink Lamborghini and like the three girls dressed up in their like classic furry pink. Furry as in like fluffy, like soft, you know. They're like pink outfits with their pink cowboy hats. It's like so iconic. What am I talking about? Oh, I wasn't done talking about Signal. Anyway, so I showed it to my band director and he was like, what the fuck is this? Like, why are they repeating the same thing over and over again? Which, I mean, felt, I guess, I agree. But, like, that's what makes this, the song so fun, you know? Like, like them saying Signal over and over again. I must let you know. 
Okay, feel special. I kind of know the chorus. What do you mean by kind of? It's like kind of. Like, I, I am like, I am not good with lyrics, okay? Especially lyrics that are not in English. I cannot. So, if I make you cringe, I'm so sorry. Oh, but about my term paper, right? The page limit, we're supposed to write like a four to seven page film analysis, but the max was seven, okay? I wrote like eight pages, and then I had like two other pages, like one of them was like a top page, and then the last page was like, you know, like we're excited, which I only cited one article. You know, I felt really stupid signing the article too, because it's just like, it's not even like a science journal or anything, it's just like a, like any other like celebrity tabloid magazine article, you know? So I felt really stupid, because like I remember like learning in elementary and in high school, oh, this is a reliable source, this isn't a reliable source, Wikipedia isn't a reliable source, but I still use Wikipedia anyway. <laughs> so I felt really stupid signing that, that article, but I still had to anyway, because like, I still am taking information from other articles but they have to remember you know like i'm not searching up like anything sciencey or stem related i'm just trying to cite where i found out that the actor of the movie actually learned sign language for like nine months which by the way okay so the film i did my film analysis on is called coda and it's basically about this girl and like everyone else in her family is deaf and she wants to go to music school and like she has to juggle school with like a uh, work because her family like fishes for a living so she has to juggle work a school and then she also wants to go to music school to sing so she also has to juggle that too with like all of her music lessons and stuff it's actually a really good movie you should go watch it and i don't mean it as in like oh like this is good on irish standards no like it's like a good movie in general because like my favorite movies like for example like one of my favorite movies of all time is wild wild west let that sink in okay let that sink in oh my god na -na 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 to the chorus and then like i only make it to the end of the song i only remember that i'm supposed to sing at, like at the end of the song anyway y'all should watch coda c-o-d-a also stands for child of deaf adults so you should go check out the movie it's really good i gave like a really sloppy summary but you should go check it out but yeah like what i think are really good movies i admit that they they probably aren't that good i just have like a really weird taste in movies okay it's just like yeah but anyway wild wild west is one of my favorite movies of all time and yeah that is you know about cowboys and like the desert and shit and just like like i said earlier that i, I don't like those type of movies but wild wild west is an exception <gasps> sweetie sweetie hey sweetie sweetie i love this song sweetie sweetie yo this song makes me cry oh my god there's popo -po, a star oh shit let me just yeah there is a star can you see the sirens <laughs> Also, I do not speak Japanese, so don't don't come at me. I'm Chinese, okay? I'm the other Asian, not Japanese, not Korean, okay? Let's get that straight. You're my candy, candy, pop, pop, give you one. Like, whenever I listen to scientists, I think about how unhappy, like, Jung Young looks in, like, in the stages. Like, she just got back from hiatus, and she doesn't seem too happy. And then you see, like, the next comeback, Talk That Talk, and Jung Young looks so happy, so confident. Like, she has, like, a lot of energy on stage. So, like, as much as I like scientists, the song, whenever I listen to it, I just think about how unhappy Jung Young looked while performing. Which, I don't blame her, because, you know, it's a lot coming back from hiatus don't get me wrong i mean i'm not like a k-pop idol so i wouldn't know exactly what it's like to you know be on hiatus and then go back to like busy work schedules and whatnot but you know i was an athlete i did get injured to the point where like i had to miss a lot of practice and stuff and it's just like it, it's kind of overwhelming to like go back you know i don't know if any of that makes any sense i definitely feel for jung yun even though i'm not like a k-pop idol um i'm almost home so i need to like oh my god i've been driving like 40 40 miles per hour when like the speed limit is 25 what the actual fuck that's not good um now i need to like park <sighs> okay i'm home now um it's 9 30 which um it's leviosa not leviosa you know what i can finish the song i need to also like my love is like water drink water 
I'm home now, so I'm gonna leave the car. I don't really know exactly what to tell this video. Oh, about my term paper, though. I know I keep talking about it. I just, I just get so distracted, and then I forget what I'm talking about, which maybe, like, like you know, if, if you're like that, too, um, maybe, like, you'd understand as well. Like, it's, it's honestly kind of annoying how I just, like, immediately forget what I'm talking about right when I start talking, so. So I went over the page limit, right? So I think that's why I got doc points. I got 95 instead of 100. Well, I actually did get 95, but again, I turned in late, so I got 20 points docked off. So instead of a 95, I ended up with a 75. But the quality of paper I wrote, I think could have been 100 if I wrote under the page limit, but, you know, I just have a lot to say, okay? And I even was talking about, like, the architecture of the houses on set, and I was like, yeah, the houses are this style, and you can, like, commonly find these in Massachusetts by the bay. Overall, like, I went really deep with my analysis. Anyway, oh, I also need to do, like, my be real. I literally cannot, like, commit to one thing when I talk, so, you know, this video isn't really much of, like, a, like, a catching up. It's just me rambling while I drive. This is normally what I post for my be real. I don't normally post on be real, because it's just, like, I'm never, like, out. I don't know if you can see it that well, but, like, I never really go out, so it's just, like, why would people want to see a be real in me at home? Also, it's not raining. Yeah, it's because I'm home now, and it's not raining here. Mm, let's see what everyone else is doing. Oh, okay. Okay, someone's um searching up Alzheimer's disease. Um, another person they have a boyfriend? I never knew that. Interesting. Another person's getting kissed. How fun. Is this a good reaction for like the person's getting kissed by another person? Like this is a good reaction, right? I was like, wow. Like I hop onto like be real like once in a blue moon and then like I see them like, oh, what did I miss? I missed a lot of chapters. Anyway, eek the body dysmorphia mirror. Also, my dogs keep trying to make a cameo. You have dogs. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh. I have dogs too, but um, I don't think we're talking about the same dogs. Anyway, I'm gonna ask my mom to open the door because I'm scared to open the door. So yeah. Anyway. Okay. Bye bye. See you while y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go back in the house. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>